Welcome everybody to F123 My Team, episode number one. Today we're going to be taking Andretti Cadillac onto the Formula 1 grid for the first time. I'm going to be driving as Colton Herta as you see me buying the purchase perks for power mapping and development feedback. We're going to need both of those to reduce the engine wear and get resource points so we can improve this team going forward. We have the Renault engine, Felipe Drugovic is our teammate. And uh, we're going to get ready for here for the Bahrain Grand Prix as we scroll through the driver lineup for 2023 Season 1. And uh, looking at the engine and uh, car developments kind of thing, uh, we're last on the grid. We do have an update coming, not in time for Bahrain, but for the, race, uh, for the second race at Jeddah. And uh, now let's head into the Bahrain Grand Prix. Definitely a very scruffy lap for myself. I'm definitely no Yarno Otmir, but uh, kind of slow. As we scroll through the results from qualifying, you'll see that Andretti Cadillac locks out the last row of the grid. I'm 1.6 seconds down on my teammate. Let's head into the race. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Leclerc, Russell, Hamilton, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Norris, Magnussen, Albon, Joe, De Vries, Sargent, Drogovic, and the owner driver rounds off the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. I've decided to start on the mediums, go medium hard instead of soft medium. Uh, just because of tire wear, I'm not sure how well the uh, my team car with no upgrades is on tire wear. It's probably terrible. Uh, I'm not going to do two stints or three stints. It's going to be a one-stop race, medium to hard, lowering the fuel consumption because I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, plus, I'm going to need it in a straight line and through the corners. Anyway, let's get on to the race now as uh, five lights are ready, com ready to come on. And it's going to be lights out, and away we go. We get a decent start, I think. As we already pull away from Drugovich there, Sargent and DeVries ahead of us. We're going to go to the outside as the cars move towards the right, uh, right hand side into turn number one. Get hard on the brakes. Make, try to see if we can make a couple, couple of positions up. Looks like we got four or so right there. And uh, we're going to get into the uh, start sequence here as we file in behind Kevin Magnuson in the Haas. Use the ERS down towards turn number four. They're going to go to the right hand side, see if I can make a move on the left hand side around the outside. Uh, and we're going to settle in here right in 18th place. And uh, Albon did not have a good uh, exit out of that corner. We're going to try to get him into the right-hander, and it's just not going to work. We're going to let uh, see the position there to the Williams driver. The start of the second lap, we're going to be right on Kevin Magnussen's gear box, heading up towards turn four. We're going to use the ERS, try to get as much uh, traction and grip as we can out of there. He's going to go defensive into turn four. I'm going to go around the outside, 
He bobbles there, and we're going to have the grip on the outside, the preferred line. Uh, use the ERS again, and we're going to. That's another position for us. So 16th from 22nd in in one lap. Very, very good start for us. We try to keep the uh, cars ahead of us in our DRS range. We, if we fall out of the DRS range, it's going to be hard to get it back with the pace of this car. Uh, we really need to push now to try to keep up, and make sure we get those DRS down the long straights because this engine and car is really just a big, big boat anchor. So uh, that's going to be tough. Unfortunately, coming to the end of lap number three, Albon and uh, Magnussen are going to take a look. Albon for sure gets by, but he kind of slides through the final corner. We're going to get the run down the main straightaway and DRS, try to make the pass back on the Williams as uh, Magnussen goes through our inside with a huge run. Uh, he's going to get try to get both of us. And that's going to happen into turn number one. We're going to stick to the outside, try to break, heavy, uh, break easily. Uh, guys going side by side ahead of us, not good for our race as we getting held up a little bit uh, Magnuson again now this time Albon has a DRS a big wiggle there trying to go the outside of the Haas into turn number four try to keep it tidy and clean not lose our front wing here as they're still side by side going up into turn uh, turn five and six it's gonna be tough as we back off a little bit trying to get them uh, not to be side by side someone's got to win this battle we can't be uh, losing time like this behind these two guys and they're still banging wheels there in the in the uh, hairpin and uh, as we head up towards turn number 10, still side by side, this is not going to end well. As Albon kind of goes uh, late and pushes Magnuson wide. And that's going to give us the opportunity to get inside the Haas down the straightaway with DRS. Albon is sitting duck. And uh, Magnuson to the outside. I'm going to the inside. Try to break down into t uh, turn number 11 there. We're going to get the position, but Albon's going to come back and uh, take the position away. So fun battle here on lap number 4. Uh, but we're still going to be losing a bunch of time to the cars in front, and we can't have that, especially with our tire disadvantage. And, uh, yeah, just got to keep pushing here. Really, at this point in the race, we're really just stuck in a DRS fight, swapping back and forth with, with uh, Alex Albon. He's, he takes the position from me. I take the position from him. We're going to go uh, on the outside here in turn number three and get the position done with DRS heading up the hill to turn number four. And really, this pretty much became a theme in this race, me and Albon just swapping the position back and forth every lap, depending on who has DRS. And DRS and ERS is very powerful in this game, uh, which is a very very good improvement from last year where I felt were obviously the straight line speed of the AI was definitely a big problem. Okay, information on Bottas. Let's 
They've got an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Now we're going to pit at the end of lap number 9, switch onto the hard tires as everybody else goes to mediums. Not the best strategy call from Andretti Cadillac here today. I could obviously uh, for the next race fix that and go soft to medium. But uh, the tire disadvantage didn't make it much easier, but we're going to have a good pit stop here, optimal time in. Uh, and we're going to go out and come out right behind Sonoda, who is about 5 seconds up the road before the pit stop. So that was a great pit, pit entry by myself. And uh, we're going to see how this shakes out as the uh, pit, pit cycle cycles through. As cars pit ahead of us, it feels like the uh, undercut really works because we got in front of uh, Pierre Gasly and Oscar Piastri, and we're up into 13th now. And we can I can literally see 10th place right there with uh, in the second stint here with nine laps to go. So if we could somehow, if those cars get battling, we could get up there and try to steal 10th and get a point in this race. But it's going to be tough with how uh, the pace of our car not being great. Losing the DRS zone as Gasly throws one down the inside into turn number one. We're going to try to fight back, but it's just going to be tough. Uh, we're really no match for the Alpine at this point. We just need more upgrades. We try to get our car better, especially in a straight line. We're really sinking. Obviously, they have the same engine as us. Uh, if you don't know in real life, Andretti's trying to enter with Renault as an engine supplier. So I went with that to try to make it realistic. Still trying to follow Pierre Gasly here on lap 12. Uh, I think 13th is the best we can do as the other cars ahead of us start pulling away. But my goal is really to try to follow Pierre Gasly. Uh, the Alpine is a quicker car than the Alfa Terry or the Alfa Romeo. So if he can get up there, we can stay in his DRS train. We can really try to do that, but that's not going to help as Gasly runs over the curb in, in turn 10. And uh, we're going to take the position back. And that's pretty much just going to kill our race, really. Although it looks good to make a pass on a faster car, it doesn't help us trying to catch the three cars ahead of us because obviously the top 10 is well where we need to be if we want to make points up in this championship. Okay, so we're leaving our teammate by 7.6 seconds. Again, like our battle with Alex Albon earlier, the battle with Gasly is very much just a DRS game of cat and mouse. Uh, but we're holding on, though. Uh, trying to, you know, the cars ahead of us are only three seconds ahead. We can make that gap open if they start fighting. As we come to the start of lap 16 with five laps to go, in the bottom right, that's not what we want to see. And it looks like that's going to be a terminal engine problem for us. 
and sure is and we're gonna be out of the race with five laps to go it seems as though uh, Piastri has hit someone behind me and that is what that damage was in that safety car so Piastri's out as well so we're gonna pull off to the side of the road and end our race with a disappointing engine DNF when it was so promising 22nd to 13th in 16 laps it was going well until it wasn't that's it then for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Going through the final results, you're going to see something kind of crazy as uh, Alex Albon, Joe Guan Yu, and Logan Sargent somehow made it into the points after that safety car, which is really not what we wanted to see. Uh, those are the teams and cars that were really battling in the championship, and for Williams to score 16 points in the first race uh, doesn't help our cause to not be last. Uh, Drogovic did a good job to get to 15th ahead of Sonoda and Magnussen, but uh, unfortunately for us, Having Williams and Alfa Romeo score that many points in one race, not helping us uh, at all, as uh, our goal for the season was to score 15 points and fight Williams, and Williams is already on 16, and Alfa Romeo's on 8. So that's disappointing, but we're just going to have to make it up uh, in the coming races with Jeddah, Australia, uh, Miami, and Baku. So uh, we'll see you all in the next video, and I hope that race in Saudi Arabia goes a lot better than it did here today in Bahrain.